When I'm not around to help, this is what Lauren does. She gets into electrical problems. Go show them what I did. All by herself. I did what all by myself. <laughs> I don't need you here. Go. Goodbye. This hurts my pride. I got busier things. I got things I got to do. And she's changing light fixtures. <laughs> And it's not because, you know, it's just because you have other pressing things. And this is the kind of stuff that makes me happy, so. <laughs> so let's go take a look at the other one that she did. So this is her walk-in closet, fancy fancy. And she used a step stool and has put up a light fixture all by herself. Totally her vibe. What do you guys say about that? I'm super proud of myself. <laughs> it took me a while to figure it out. I'm a little sweaty from it, but I did it. You did it. It looks great. See, she's the handy woman around here. I got the other one off already. I'm going from this <sighs> to this. What's up with the beads? It's, it's the just, vibe. It's the vibe. Yeah, it's the farmhouse vibe. Country farmhouse. Keep up the good work, honey. Thanks. Yeah. So my daughter adopted a mouse, an albino mouse that nobody wanted. But she named him Reddy, Redding Remy, and she is taking care of him, putting fresh shavings in, food, uh, health care. She wants to grow up to be a veterinarian, right? Yeah. Right. First, you got to grow up first. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. I don't know. So I'm showing the animals in the house. Your desk drawer fell out. How did it? Oh. Well, there is a resident handy woman in the house. Do you know what her name is? Lauren. Lauren. She's mama. Mama's going to take care of it. I think your hamster. Is it a hamster? Yeah. I think your hamster is making a mess on the floor. Yeah. So this is Hannah's little hamster. Oh, I, have to, I have to wake her up. Wake up, wake up. If you blow on her, she wakes up sometimes. <laughs> but if you spook her and try to pick her up like immediately while she's sleeping, she will bite you. Okay. <laughs> so like I try does and she, wake her up first. Does she break she the skin bite. when she bites you? No. No? It just hurts. Here, I'll wake her up. Yeah. Oh, I see her in the corner. She's hiding. Do you think Cinnamon and Redding Remy can live together? Nope. Why not? They're going to fight. Hamsters can't even live with other hamsters or they fight. Okay. Redding Remy lived with another hamster. Mm. Hamster? Or whatever he is. <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, so you do need a man's help. My arms are just not strong enough to like stay up and keep getting it. I just got to get it threaded and then I can All it. right. Let me get up there. It does thread in, but is it the same size is the question. You gotta feed the wires up in there. I wouldn't know until I put the phone down. So let's find out. Yes, I did that. Okay, I'm in them around. And if it's the same size, it should be fine. I just didn't have the arm strength to hold it and spin it. This doesn't count of you helping me. Uh, it totally counts as no. me helping you. I am doing it all by myself. I can see that. I am woman, hear me roar. <laughs> so I'm coming, hold on. Your mom, your the resident uh, handy woman needed help. Yeah, so it's a little difficult. It's easier to see. Well, it's because you're not doing it right. You wanted to thread this into the old one. Just unscrew the okay. old one, screw the new one. In. Okay, so goodbye, I can do that. I got this, hon, I don't need you. So she's refusing my help. <laughs> Yeah, I, mean, I can do it. What do you got over here, Hannah? So this is cinnamon. This is Hannah's little hamster. Did you get him out? Is it a boy or a girl? Hi, cinnamon. I'm watching. I'm watching. She took Oh, you're trying to feed her. I see. How old is she? Look, she's got stuff in her cheek. She stuffed it in her cheek. Now look at her, her, her cheek is fat. She shoved the <laughs> whole thing in her mouth? Yep. <laughs> Where are her other treats? And she's storing it for winter. Oh, oh wait. This I do that sometimes. Okay, what do we got? Looks like a burrito. 
She tries to shove this whole thing in her mouth. She tries, like... Take it. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna go bury it. That's what she does. She, she's going to bury it. That's what she does. She goes to bury it. <laughs> <laughs> she might try and shove she's it She's so around. happy. No way. Is she really gonna try to shove the whole thing in her mouth? She does that all the time. I don't think her mouth is big enough. She did it before. And her cheek oh was my gosh, huge. She's, she's trying. <laughs> she's trying to shove it in there. <laughs> she might she give might up and just bury it. it. So if it doesn't fit, she buries it and saves no, it for I later. See it. It's screwed over there. <laughs> she's just looking. She's like, I want more. Stashing them. She saved them for later. Because look, if you stand from here and look, there's one behind her. Yeah, I can and see it right the front. there. So she's she's hiding them, <laughs> saving it for a rainy day. Well, today's the perfect day for that. It is definitely rainy out. Of course, Bentley's our other indoor animal. <laughs> he sleeps in our bed with us. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Hi, Benny Boo. Look, honey. Ah! Well, aren't you special? <laughs> you taught me well. I did. I taught my wife well. So if anybody needs a light fixture installed, <laughs> her number is 484 <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm out here at Lowe's picking up more materials for the bathroom build. I need some 2x4 by 10s by as well as a light fixture for the bathroom. So let's go in there and see what we can find. I always leave with more stuff than anticipated. So I might as well get a cart. This is what I need. <laughs> How much old lumber and old timbers that I have at the other farm, this is what I need. So I'm looking at the two by four by tens. I tell you, the quality of lumber has gotten really bad lately. And you wanna know why that is? Because it's not old growth. This stuff warps and bows so much. So I've got to dig through the stack and find exactly what I'm looking for. All right, so I'm trying to build the last wall. And there's, well, that's weird. Usually they're connected. I'm trying to build the last wall. It's the wall that um, the door is entered into. I just ran out of just a couple of these two by four by tens. So I want to look down them and make sure that they're nice and straight. And that's passable. You're never gonna get perfect wood anymore. <laughs> but I have three two by four by tens left and I have to build one more short wall where the door is at. And so I'm gonna select my lumber carefully, make sure it's nice and straight. Cause this is the wall that the door is gonna be on. And if that's not straight, well then it's gonna make closing the door very difficult. So we definitely wanna make sure that's good. The other walls, they're pretty good. So I'd say that one's pretty good too. So I only need four of them. And now we have to go pick out a light fixture. Just my luck. Light fixtures are way down there. Oh, and that's why they buy floor models. How do you ever choose a light? My goodness. This is insane. Luckily my wife's on the other end. She's sending me texts. And I believe she liked something along the lines of this one up here. So maybe it's that one, I don't know. I have the uh, product number, I just need to look for it down here. So you use this grid to decide what you want. Then you read the number up here and then you look down here and decide which one it is. All right, so this looks like the light fixture she sent me. That's what we'll go with. All right, so back to the farmhouse we go. Light fixture. And two by four by tens. One, two, three, and four. So, the pipes over here, this one's for the toilet right here. Hey, twinning. 
This one's for the sink and this one's for the shower. All right, here's the current progress on the bathroom. We've got plumbing for the sink running down that way. I'm gonna put a studer vent right there. We've got the hot and colds. We've got the toilet line running for the toilet. We've got the subway tile up with the accent strip. Now I'm getting ready to build the wall that's gonna go from here to here. And I found an old door inside the barn that looks very similar to this. So I'm gonna use that. All right, so this is the old door, but I accidentally had it fall over onto a bucket and the panel popped out. So I do have to put it back in place and then I have to color match those doors. I have to color match, match it to those doors. So that's the door. So when I build the wall, I have to keep in mind, I've gotta frame it out just enough so the door fits in and can have a door stop. So not a pre-hung, definitely a custom build. Look how cool this is. That was just sitting in my barn. So I measured from the ceiling down to the floor and over here as well. And of course, the back of your hand is a pretty good place to write things down. So I lucked out on this piece of wood right here. This is the top plate and the bottom plate. They're both 59 inches. So I'm gonna cut exactly what I need out of one, two by four by 10. Piece one. And that's very minimal waste. All right, so this is the left side over here, and this is the right side. What I did is it's not actually 117 and a half. I subtracted an inch and a half of both of these measurements to equal my three inches to accommodate for the width of the one and a half by three and a half, hence two by four. Now, I line them up. Obviously, they're staggered, but this is the cut point on each one of them. So I can get two cuts Still two birds and one stone. Voila. All right, so I've got it laid out. Nothing's screwed together, but all the, uh, everything's laid out right here. Now I gotta screw it together and then I'm gonna stand it up in place. Actually, what I'll do is screw it together and then figure out what other top plates or side plates I need. So I determined the top of the door is going to be 86 and a half inches tall. So I cut myself a piece to fit right in there. And now we just have to screw it in place and line it up with our marks. and I'm gonna stand it up like this, just like that. Now, in theory, the wall should land just on this side of the switch. <laughs> we'll see what happens. That should accommodate a 36 inch vanity and the legal spacing for a toilet, which is 30 inches on, well, 30 inches total, 15 inches on either side. So what I did is I found center on the wall and then I divided that in half of the door and it turns out if I centered the door I would only have 11 inch clearance. So the vanity is at least 19 inches, maybe 20. So I need to shift this over this direction. I'm trapped in here. Nope, I'm making content. So is that what you're hanging next? I was gonna, I might eat your half though. What? Say it again. <laughs> just to hold it, it's pretty big. 
All right, so I need to know the width of that vanity. I'm right now. Okay. <laughs> 36 by 18 by 34. So 18 deep. Yes. All right, perfect. Now, I'll forget that number. Careful. So this is what she likes to do. She's visual. <laughs> she makes you hold no matter how heavy it is. It's in so place pretty. before you actually Careful. Oh. oh lord is that good no shorter shorter yeah oh my gosh yeah what is that? yeah like that okay or maybe maybe even a little shorter oh my gosh all right so, we just so not many at all three links <laughs> so what happened honey lights myself and I assembled three or four and so I was ready to hang this one I had all the beads perfect and it was a little heavy because it's pretty big so I just asked him to help me hold it and which turned into him cutting wire and then he cut the wire too short and then we had to hold it up and down how many times and he knocked all the beads off and <laughs> I kind of feel like I was doing better on my own <laughs> sorry honey but it's up. I just have to fix it now. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. It's beautiful. You gonna ask for my help again? Probably not. All right, so this is where it starts to get confusing. So hopefully you can keep up with me. The vanity depth is to there, right? So if I measure from the vanity depth to the wall and I mark center, center of vanity, then I divide the width of the door um, 37 and a quarter at least the door opening that brings me right to there however that's on the left side on the right side that brings me to there well obviously that's like not even the half an inch so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the natural two by four here because what i was going to do is put a two by four down this way and i was going to put a two by four down this way so i'm just going to utilize the two by four that's already there and I'm gonna use this line, which accommodates the depth that's over here. And I'm just shifting it to the right by less than a half an inch. So, does that make sense? <laughs> All right, I cut my piece at 81 and a quarter, so I should be able to drop that right in place down there. And right in here, perfect fit. Snug as a bug in a rug. So we're gonna go with the one that says use this line, right there. So I'll screw both of these together, and this will be my door opening right here. Uh-oh. I don't even know what I did wrong. This side's like 119, this side's like 118. I should be 116 and a quarter and 117 and a half. <laughs> All right, so if you're gonna take instructions from any online creator for do it yourself, I'm not your guy. Cause I forgot to took, take the one and a half inches off. I swore I took the one and a half inches off. But over here, I didn't. So therefore, I'm gonna have to take it off the top side, so I have to put this thing back on the ground. Sure. What do you think, honey? That's beautiful. You like it? I like it. How'd you fix it? Um, so you lost one of the hooks when you were not. I lost one. <laughs> you told me to hold it. So I got creative and I used some wire. I made a little wire hook. <laughs> I see. It works. That's nice. I love it. So what light fixture did we have there? The one that was there was this one. So what was wrong with that one? I didn't like it. <laughs> Look, Dad. Fancy. Fancy, fancy, <laughs> right? I hung four light fixtures now all by myself. No, 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 no. Stop. I didn't include that one. And he helped me with that one because it's big. Oh, wait. So I'm to no, to stop! Me, what other light fixture did I help you with? 
I have it on film. Oh, well, that was barely any help. <laughs> barely. All right, so my mistake was that I kept an inch and a half too long on each side, so I have to cut it down an inch and a half. Devin showed up, say hey. Hey. <laughs> Just in time to Just cut in off time. an inch and a half. So we're going to unscrew that, take it down an inch and a half, stand the wall back up, and then that should be it for the day. All right, I don't know, don't know what happened to my tape measure, so we know this is an inch and a half, so we just mark it there, and we'll cut it along, and we'll do the same thing on the bottom. Screw the top back on and we're good to go. <laughs> ah, we're not building the piano. Close the job. Now the bottom one. That'll do for government work. Ta-da! <laughs> so what I did is I cut the bottom plate out. Typically on a new construction where we're going to put the floor in afterwards, I would leave this bottom plate in and then I would cut it out with a sawzall afterwards and put flooring over top of it. But I don't want to destroy the look of this nice oak floor. So we cut it out now, then we'll stand up. We're just going to have to figure out a way to stabilize this piece of wood. Raise the wall. It's like a traditional barn raising. Please let this work. A whole lot more Amish though for this. All right. Look at that. We're basically going to line up this 2x4 and that 2x4 ah, on this side. Up. Right? Yep. And then we'll have to put another one over there. And you're going to ask, how the heck do we get this wall square? How the heck do we get this wall square? <laughs> We're gonna... So here we got a Bosch Professional Automatic Laser Level. This thing, we're going to plop down right here. We know that the wall needs to be right there. So we shoot a laser level across. And now we need to bring the wall to match. So as long as, see how the laser is sticking out right there? We need to kick this side of the wall in just a little bit until we can't see the laser. And now we see it over there. And we kick the wall in. Now we'll get a double measurement from the top here plate. And here and there to there. Right. And once we're good with that, we can shim this side out and we can use some long anchors to secure this to the wall. A little damage as possible. What's the measure? Seven and one, two, three eighths. Okay, so we do the same down here. That's 37 to 5 eighths. Mm -hmm. Right there. One, two, three eighths. Well, I don't know. The way I see it, you're at 37. And one, two, three eighths. Where's your eighths at? Let's Those see. are sixteenths, buddy. So one, two, <laughs> three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're good. <laughs> hey, it's already yeah. good. Now he's got to nudge it back. So the laser's right. Mm-hmm. Right there. A little bit more towards me. Doors are sensitive creatures. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see we're off. And all I got to do is pull this until the laser hits the wood. Back it off just a little bit until it's showing them both. And shoot. 
Ta da! Another one bites the dust. I see another one. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> that concludes today's project. Uh, thanks, Devin, for helping out on the last bit of that. A little bit of show up. <laughs> we'll be here tomorrow. All right. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching.